Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food and another installment of I Scream. Today we've got something extra special because today, today is the day that Van Leeuwen Ice Cream has released this brand new flavor of ice cream. It's Van Leeuwen Glass Onion, a Knives Out Mystery French Ice Cream. So if that sounds like a, a wordy and a lot of stuff, it's because this was released in conjunction with the Knives Out movie, the new Knives Out movie called Glass Onion. And so it's only available at their scoop shops in Los Angeles and in New York. Now, who knew they only had scoop shops in Los Angeles and New York? I've been going for the, my Van Lee Will ice cream from Walmart the whole time. And then I walk in there and there's a big case there and they have every flavor of ice cream that they've released at, at any point in time. So. That's my go-to from now on from Van Leeuwen. And Van Leeuwen, Van Leeuwen's kind of been hit and miss. If you remember the Tapatio Mexican hot chocolate one, it was kind of, it didn't taste like Tapatio. And then the honeycomb one didn't have any honeycomb in it. So essentially this one for the movie Glass Onion supposedly has onion in it. Well, let's take a look at the ingredients. The ingredients are cream, milk, cane sugar, onions, pineapple juice, that's weird, egg yolks, well, I, I guess that's going to be an ice cream anyways. Non-fat Greek yogurt, dark brown sugar, white vinegar, bur bourbon, vanilla extract, baking soda, butter, sea salt, canola oil, pectin natural flavor, black pepper, contains milk and eggs. Yeah, well, you, we just said that. So weird. Of course, there's a, there's a lot of like mystery stuff on there because searching for the perfect bite is kind of like channeling your inner detective to find a guilty suspect. So dig in and check out Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery on Netflix. I'm gonna have to check that out. Uh, anything else? But be careful, a pint this puzzling might drive even your closest friends to put their spoons down and get their knives out to secure the last scoop. Well, we shall see. And again, uh, today is December 12th, and this just came out today, and only available again in Los Angeles and in New York at their scoop shops. So let's get into it. Ben Lewin, dear mouth, enjoy. Sincerely, Lid. Well, that top doesn't come off very well. All right, here we go. Well, it's starting to melt. All right. Let's scoop this. It's funny because it, it looks like fudge ribbons that they put in so many other of their flavors of ice cream, fudge ribbons. These aren't fudge ribbons though. All right, here we go. Let's give this a shot. I don't know how they do the vinegar and something with cream in it without it curdling. It's got a bite. It's not like a spicy bite. There's no, there's no, you know, capsaicin or anything in there, but it does have this bite to it. I'm like a peppery bite to it. It's still smooth and creamy. Imagine the flavors kind of like work in there. This is gonna sound crazy. It has an onion flavor, but it has a nice onion flavor. It's almost like it's almost like a flavor of toasted onion. It's like a, somewhere between a car caramelized onion and a toasted onion. It's somewhere in there. So it's it's actually, a, it's a sweet onion flavor. Not like, you know, a white raw onion or anything like that. It is really sweet. I don't know how they get so sweet with vinegar, but... There's little chewy bits in there. Now somebody said online that there were some little bits in there that were like glass. So it was supposed to be like glass that you would, you know, chew on and you know break apart with your teeth. I don't really get that. Uh, what would that be? What would they make? You know, I don't really see anything. Oh, it has. Uh, I did read black pepper. I think that's the spiciness that I'm getting is the, from the black pepper. Man, if onion tasted like this all the time, people would love onion. Mm-hmm. And the more of it you eat, 
that more of that onion flavor comes out. Now, I don't know what I would pair this with. I don't know, like, you know, I, I don't think this would make a good float, like ice cream float. It would make a good sundae. I wouldn't put chocolate on it. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's just kind of like, um, it's creamy, it's sweet, it's oniony, I'm, I, I, but, but it's really, really good. I mean, I have no other way to describe that. A little bit of a bite. And that onion flavor really comes in afterwards. It's like a really strong onion aftertaste. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a big thumbs up. It's, it's so unique, so different. It's hard for me to say that if you don't like onions, would you like this or not? It's really hard for me to say. I'm not a big fan of raw onions. I'm not a big fan of white onions, but this is like really good. Like, again, it, it has that kind of toasted onion, caram caramelized onion taste. So yeah, for me, that's a, that's a big thumbs up. Now, you're asking where do you get this? Right now, again, you have to go to one of the scoop shops. Now, scoop shops are in New York City and Los Angeles, California, and that's the only place I know where you can get them. So it's not like you can go to Walmart and get these. I did see something about you being able to buy them online and them shipping to you. I don't know what the cost is of that. I don't know if it's gonna be melted by the time you get to, I mean, honestly don't know. But like I said, if, you just, if you're lucky enough that you live in Los Angeles area or in New York, and you can get out to one of the scoop shops, go ahead and get this. But when you get out there, be careful because it's crazy out there. So please take care of yourselves, take care of others, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it and we hope to see you again soon.